Hello everyone, Fanta here, you're watching FantaVision, and today I'm doing another People of Walmart episode where we take a look at, you know, the people and the things you're only going to see when you shop at Walmart. And of course we see the reason why other stores are priced a little bit higher than Walmart, because they know you're really paying the price of admission so you don't have to shop at Walmart. So if you're willing to pay the extra little bit to escape all of this, I, I don't know, sometimes I feel like it's worth it. Sometimes. Anyway, let's take a look at some of the, the 10 best that I could find on people of Walmart recently and uh, just kind of marvel at the, the, the wondrous sights and vehicles and just people and the absurd things that human beings for some reason find socially acceptable only at Walmart. Because I swear to God, I only see this kind of stuff at Walmart. Today I'm drinking Kua Bay India Pale Ale IPA, whatever. It's pretty good. Haven't had an IPA in forever. So, yeah, it's interesting. Without further ado, let's dive in. Now, the first thing we're going to see here is a car and this isn't just any car this is well it's a van actually it's a minivan and it is just covered and it looks like it's actually covered in like an actual material it looks like they covered this thing in folds of either tile it looks like they put tile on this thing like, real legitimate tile. Otherwise, I mean, paper wouldn't stand up to the elements. They've got... They've just got, like, stuff all over the front of it. And what's really strange, you think the car would be the strange bit. I mean, the car is weird. First of all, it's an extraordinarily old car, obviously worth absolutely nothing. And if they do put all this material over it and is weatherproof and it is tile or some sort of thick it could be plastic but even then that much plastic is gonna weigh down your car I guess they're not really caring about gas mileage or anything but good lord now like I said that's not the weirdest part the weirdest part and I didn't even notice this until I zoomed in is that there's somebody in it and that somebody is not real they have a dummy in this car at the driver's seat for some reason and also if you look a little bit harder there's a disco ball in there why in the world is there a disco ball in this atrocity of a van i can't explain anything i i, I can't try to rationalize anything about this picture it's just I mean, we're just getting started guys this is the first picture we've seen today so I just, I saw this and I immediately went, what? And I feel like, I mean, the design is kind of neat. I mean, I could see it on somebody's wall, but good God, on this old piece of crap van in a Walmart parking lot, that's, that's what seals it. That's what seals it. You're only going to see this kind of car at Walmart. Okay. This guy is committing several cardinal sins. First of all, the hat on the, the the glasses on top of the head thing it's kind of a faux pas i mean it's not terrible it's just kind of douchey it's a little bit douchey what's super douchey is the bluetooth in the ear he's not driving right now he's in the store and he's got the bluetooth in the ear i don't care what it is you do in your life but for the love of god just like keeping it in your ear while you go out and do shopping and your daily things, you just look like a douchebag. Don't do it. I feel like most people these days don't have this problem because if you've got like an iPhone, they've got the built-in um, microphone in the earbuds, and the earbuds really don't look as bad as the Bluetooth headset does. It just looks awful. It's that, like that old school Bluetooth too, where it's like hanging out. And then the weirdest thing, I guess it's not really a cardinal sin, just really weird the dude's got a lizard on his shoulder. It looks like he's got... I'm trying to figure out what the hell that is. It looks like a... What is that kind of lizard? It's like the fatter ones. It's got the eyes. Like a horny toad. Does he have a horny toad with him? 
Because that's what that looks like. It looks like he has a horny toad just kind of splayed out on his shoulder as he's shopping. Why would you do that ever? Why would you think that that is a good idea to bring your lizard into a Walmart while you go shopping? What's to prevent that lizard from hopping off and you're chasing it around or injuring itself or... I, I don't even... I don't get it. It's, it's not a pet you bring around with you. And why are you bringing your pet to begin with around with you? I feel like most people don't shop with their animals unless they're really portable like a small dog or they're just, you know, a service animal. But freaking, it's a lizard. Anyway, once again... That's Walmart for you. Now, <laughs> on people of Walmart, they called her like Smurfette and stuff like that. I like, she's just one of those people that is obsessed with the color blue. This is so, apparently a thing. Um, my girlfriend was watching one of these shows, it's like one of those dating shows, and the guy was just obsessed with, I think it was like, I think it was the color blue. And like everything he wore and it was just everything was blue. It wasn't to this extreme, though. This woman has blue hair, a blue long sleeve shirt, and blue pants. I don't quite know what they were... Oh, no, they called her a Muppet. I thought it was like, oh, look, it's a Smurf. So they, they called her the Muppet Lady. It's, it's just a Smurf Lady. And I guess she took a magical potion and just grew to normal human size. What? And she's even got, like, a blue stuffed animal that she's buying. I don't... I don't get this. This must be some weird fetishization of color that some people have. And this is one of those people. This is hilarious. This guy is just straight up. He's, it looks like he's wearing the, the Borat thing. Remember what he, I can't show you the image obviously because I'll get demonetized instantaneously. But he's got like that that thing on where it's not really covering anything and then it goes down to his crotch and barely covers down there. It looks like that's what he's wearing with pants on over it. If you look at it, that's exactly the same design. Go look at the picture yourself. And even if it's not the same thing as Borat, this doesn't cover anything. This is the, it's doing everything a shirt should not be doing. And it is showing off all of you. I mean, there's a difference between like, even like a, a wife beater it's just like it's mostly covering you except it doesn't have sleeves and this is negative sleeves. It's just, oh my lord, I, I don't even, it's like he's wearing a grocery bag. I don't understand why you would go out in public like this. It just doesn't make sense to me. Now this guy, he looks like, you know, a normal guy, whatever. Oh, he does have the Bluetooth on actually. Oh, he's got a shaved head. Okay, never mind. It's getting weirder as I look at the picture more. We're getting... We're getting into this. I just saw this photo and I immediately thought, this guy is going to need a chiropractor immediately. If he keeps doing this, he's going to need one like ASAP because have you seen like those old people where they're really hunched over because their backs are just completely screwed up? That's this guy. He's like trying to fast track that happening. I don't quite understand why. And it looks like he doesn't even work here. He might. But from every, I mean, I don't see the, the Walmart, you know, vest. I don't see a name tag. He could be just taking a lunch break or something. He could be part of the cart crew. But I feel like there are better ways to do this. And why does he have a Bluetooth in his ear if he works in cart crew? Do you really need a Bluetooth device if you work at Walmart cart crew? You're not some stockbroker that is constantly doing day trading and trying to call people up and telling your investors and... Telling people that are, it's just, no, you are in the cart crew. You do not need a Bluetooth in your ear. And it's not even earbuds. I'm looking at it. It is a straight up just Bluetooth device. So uh, somebody made a car based off of Chloe. <laughs> this is just horrifying. And I can't imagine the amount of money that this person must have put into this car. And I don't know why. I mean, it's a Nissan, so first of all, it's a piece of crap. I have a Nissan, I can say that. It is just horrifying. I mean, it's if you like Sphinx cats, that's fine. I don't understand it personally. I think they're gross, weird skin bags of cats. But this is just monstrous. It takes everything that is bad about a Sphinx and then exponentially increases it onto a car. It looks like somebody's nutsack stretched out all over a car and then they just 
smushed a cat face into it. It is horrifying. All the wrinkles and the ears and the... How is that even road legal with those massive ears on it? I don't get why anybody would do this. This is horrifying. So I have some questions. First of all, I love what the people of Walmart said as the title for this one. Great value zebra. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a deer. Some guy has a pet deer and he for some reason put a zebra print. Um, what was this, like a jacket on it? He put a jacket on his pet deer. First of all, how do you even get a pet deer? Is that possible? Can you just go get a pet deer? It, I mean, it, it's not a dog. You, can you just can you just walk around with it? I don't know. I have so many questions for this animal, not for the animal, for the for the owner. Maybe I should just ask the animal. I feel like the owner is going to be just as helpful in that department, if not less helpful. So this is just sad. I mean, childhood obesity is truly something that is a, a plague of America. And now this kid. I can't quite tell the age, but I feel like they're they're too old to be sitting in the cart like that. I don't think my parents ever let me sit in the cart like that. And she's pointing out a family-sized thing of gummy snacks, Scooby-Doo gummy snacks. I don't think she needs any more. And the fact that it's just everything about this photo... I mean, you see the mom, and you see the kid, and you're like, okay, well, I understand why she's overweight now. Her mom doesn't take care of herself. She's not going to take care of her kid. But what's even funnier is that the woman in the foreground is, like, pointing back, like, really? A, the mom is letting her kid in the cart like that. B, she's, like, pointing out things like a toddler. C, how did she get in the cart? I feel like that would take a lot of effort. How did she get in the cart? I need, I need to know. And when it comes to Walmart, people choose to wear the weirdest clothes imaginable. And I, I, I just have several questions about this. First of all, why does this guy, I mean, this is an elderly gentleman. This isn't like some younger guy that could be doing it as a joke. He's doing it for the meme. He thinks he might wind up on this website, whatever. This is like an elderly man who is seriously wearing an American flag as not just a t-shirt, as his entire outfit. He has the American flag all over him. And second of all, why does this clothing exist? I, I don't, I was gonna say I don't know who this is for, but apparently we we found the buyer. All right, we're on to our last photo. This is uh, truly, we didn't say the best for last, but uh, <laughs> I, I feel like anybody who buys this shirt should just be put in jail immediately. I mean, yeah, this guy is either a serial killer or just hangs out at the local graveyard and is a necrophiliac. Why the f why would anybody wear this t-shirt? I mean, even as a joke, you're out in public wearing this shirt. It's, it's horrifying. If she's got a pulse, then she's not my type. I mean, you could be thinking maybe he's having sex with sex dolls. But again, why would you want to advertise that? I, it, the, the... The least of the worst, the best of the worst case scenarios is that it's about a sex doll and that's the joke. But that's not, that's not what anybody's going to think when they read this. And even then, like I said, why would you want to advertise that? It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. And none of these photos do. None of these people of Walmart or these vehicles of Walmart make any sense to me. They just blow my freaking mind because... These people are out there in public, you know, and it's just terrifying. I, I don't know. I, I love doing this series, but every time I go to this website, 
I just, it just baffles me. Like it, it just breaks my brain because I, I can't compre- comprehend why anybody would go out in public like these people. Why you would have your vehicle as some horrible monstrosity or crazy art project with a doll in the pa- the driver's seat, not even the passenger seat. You could be like, oh, well, if it's in the passenger seat, you know, he's just trying to use the HOV lane. But no, it's, and there's a disco ball. Anyway, <laughs> people of Walmart are everywhere, and this is why people pay a little bit more so they see a little less of this stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Tales from Retail, People of Walmart edition. And comment down below any ideas you guys have for future Tales from Retail videos. And if you've seen people like this out in public and what it was, if you have pictures, for the love of God, put them in the Discord. And as always, have a fantastic day. See you guys.